5 is back, and it's my turn to rant and rave. And today, I'm gonna be the Cranky Kong to your Donkey Kong. I'm gonna be figuratively sitting here in my rocking chair and telling you about the good old days of video games in my top five reasons old games are better than today's games. Five. First up is all the reading material we used to have with video games. One of the best parts of a game's experience was driving home and you're sitting in the back seat coming from the game store and you'd crack open that box if your mom would let you and obviously you couldn't play the game yet. But hey, look at that beautiful 30 page instruction manual you could flip through. It just foreshadowed the experience that you would have the moment you got home, you turned on the TV, blew into the car, a few times oh yeah oh my god oh yeah and started playing the bright colors the epic still images learning the controls ahead of time it built up the anticipation of the game making it a better experience overall and not just the instruction book but we also got game guides full books of codes, combos, and walkthroughs. My bookshelf as a kid was littered with Disney adventures, goosebumps, and strategy guides. It's like masturbating in a time machine. Now you open a game up with nothing to look at, but an advertisement for a bunch of other games that you probably won't play anyways. No game manual at all. All you get in the game is a game tutorial that you wind up skipping over and then complain that the game sucks because you don't know how to play it. Four. Remember the days where you could buy the game and get the whole entire game that day? Well, Pepperidge Farms remembers, and so do I! Believe it or not, there was a time where you didn't have to download an update to a game the moment you got it, and day one DLC wasn't even conceived yet. I just spent $60 of my hard-earned money. The last thing I should have to do is shout out another 10 or $20 on the rest of the game. Or, I didn't have to pre-order the game just to get better weapons weapons, or cooler armor. You bought a game and had the entire game. What a concept. It was a crazy world we used to live in. A crazy world. Three. For number three, my pride is hurt and my heart. Today's games, they aren't being made to be great games. Their main purpose is to be played by the most popular YouTuber with the hopes of finding some kind of success. No, 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 no. I said a popular YouTuber. <laughs> There you go, that's better. Why was Goat Simulator made? Or Surgeon Simulator? Or any other goddamn simulator game made? Not because they thought they had a good game on their hands, but because they knew that a YouTuber would just yell and scream at the screen, damn it, and the audience would go crazy and go out and download the game and do the same thing. Oh, look at me, I'm a YouTuber, and this game is so buggy, it's so great. No. Even though we too are just as guilty as the rest of them of what I speak of, that's a whole different topic to get into, but games used to be made because they had heart and soul being poured into them with the hopes of making a great game. Now I'm not saying that all games used to be great, because let me tell you, there were some shitty ones, but they were made for gamers. I recently played a Ninja Turtle game that didn't have local co-op. It didn't have local co-op! That blew my mind! Now, yes, I do admit that playing the game, it had a much larger world to explore, and local co-op just wouldn't actually work for it. But who else remembers the days of Player 2? Having local co-op games brought siblings closer together. Brief rounds of working together to silence all the bickering and fighting. Kids these days, they can't do that. They need to have two different Xboxes on two different TVs with a really good internet connection to play together. What is that? I remember coming home and turning on the Nintendo 64 and doling out some ass kickings to my friends and some Super Smash Brothers. Why did I take it? Now, yes, I admit, Nintendo is still good at this, but everyone else has lost what made it great to play games with your friends. You had to be social and in the same room. Now we're all in our own rooms and across town, sitting in Cheeto crumbs and our underwear, playing games together. For me, that's just called Friday night. One. And finally, the number one reason games of yesteryear were better than games today. The number one thing that grinds my gears. 
Games used to actually be difficult. They didn't hold your hand like they do today. Games now have like 10 difficulty settings. Normal is super easy. And if that's not easy enough for you, you could actually play on easy, which made you pretty much impervious to any and all damage. And if you died, you had an auto save for mere moments before you died. When I was your age, if I died in a game, you had to start from the start of the stage. No! And you had three lives to beat the whole damn game. Ah! And there wasn't multiple difficulty. There was one setting, and that setting was go f yourself. Ninja Turtles, Batman, Mega Man, these games were damn hard and you had to really think and try some shit out to figure out how to beat them. And if you were lucky, you had to remember a 16 character long password to get back to that same spot in the game. Yes, 1125. All right, now read the number back to me. L let me get my pen. And if there was a puzzle that you were stuck on, you had to get your ass down to a bookstore and sneak a peek at the game guide to figure out how to beat it. Instead of waiting just 10 seconds in a game and then a character just gives you a hint that explains exactly how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> Games used to make us smarter and try harder. None of this hold your hand till you see the credits bullshit. Well, there's my old man rant on why games used to be better back in the day. Now, we have all these HD graphics, virtual reality experiences, and downloadable content making games longer with more replayability, and an oversaturation of games so that there's always new games to choose from. Actually, what the hell am I saying? Games today are way better than they used to be. Okay, forget everything I just said. I'm gonna go play an HD remake of a game that I used to love because I have that opportunity now. I'll see you later.